Hey, I'm living on the edge and I'm gonna try to make a video before I go to my hair appointment. I like to put on a little makeup before my hair appointment so that I look amazing when my hair is done. So that's what I'm doing. I wanted to make a comment on something I saw on social media today because it kind of just struck me and I've I've been kind of you know thinking about a lot of things and it this anyway it struck me it was a picture of a kid in bed and the caption said like this is why I do it um stability is more important than my than entrepreneurship or whatever it was but basically she's saying like she's she's pursuing entrepreneurship so that her child can have stability and um, one thing I noticed is a lot of people, they have their wives and it's their kids and or they'll be like, I'm doing it for this person. And my mom even said she did this and that for me. But I'm going to be honest, I'm doing this for me. It's for me. Um, and not that I don't want everyone else to benefit, but this is my work. This is my life's work. And it's so I'm doing it for me. I don't know if the difference is that I am pursuing my life's work and my purpose as opposed to pursuing um, a certain financial status. But to me, the the entrepreneurship is tied to my self-actualization. So I just don't, I can't separate the two. And I feel like that's why I'm here. I'm here to do this work and figure out who it is God made me to be. But I think I have to say it. I think I'm saying it because a lot of people don't feel like just wanting to be their best selves, just wanting the things they didn't have or wanting um, to experience life richly is enough. They don't think they are enough. They think it's got to be for somebody else because they aren't worthy. But I'm here to tell you that you can just do it for you. You don't have to use other people as a reason, as a qualifier, or to give you permission to pursue your goals. It you don't your life doesn't have to be about everybody else. You can just decide that you want something because you want it. I think that's a big problem with us, us women, is that we have this idea that we should keep everybody else first and if we want to pursue something else it's got to benefit everybody else and um i think that holds us back because really how does me building a platform and a youtube channel and all that benefit my son it doesn't really directly benefit him but me being all that i can be as a woman and a mom and a wife that benefits him because the better of a person I am the more I'm growing through this process the more I have to offer him as a mom and me being happy is worth so much that in itself that's what we all we have to bring is ourselves that's all we have to bring and um, when you give yourself permission to be fully engaged fully turned on to seek whatever it is that turns you on and makes you feel alive and proud and productive. You're all the more for someone else. I think we we have this idea that we should, all of our time should be given to other people or our kids or spent on the home. But again, Spending time, I'd rather spend five minutes talking to somebody that can focus on me than an hour talking to someone that's half present. And that's also something I need to remember in raising my kid. So I just, I just don't see there really being an equal trade-off to pursuing your highest self and pursuing what it is that makes you more you. I don't see there being a trade-off. Like, I don't see, well, I'm not going after what I want so that my kids can do this. I don't see how 
whatever you're trading off for being the best version of yourself that achieves the things that you really truly want and need, not just the stuff you think you're supposed to want, like a Escalade or something, but what it is you truly want. I don't see how it ever can't be a better choice. Now, that doesn't mean that every sing I think every single choice you make should be about you because I don't think that. I think it's a balance and it's being willing to take the time and also honoring the commitments you've made and having good character in that. I think having good character is part of being your best self. So I'm not saying that it's always you first, but I'm saying your focus can be about what you want. Um, when I get there, I'm not going to be like, I did this for Brooks. <laughs> I did this for my husband. I mean, sometimes I feel like I have to do it for my husband because at this point, I've been at home for three years when I've wanted to be the goal with the goal for me to, um, you know, do this work and become who I am. So he's made sacrifices for me to be able to do this. And I feel like in a sense, I do owe him. But at the same time, I made a home. I've been making a home the whole time. So I, it's not exactly, um, it's like the, it's not that he's gotten no return, but just like in terms of the commitment I feel I've made, I want to honor that by doing finishing the work that I set out to do for, so that and so that my husband uh, gets the benefit after he's made sacrifices, like to be fair, you know. But I just don't think that. It has to always be about somebody else. And I'm not doing it for the haters either. Yeah, the haters early on were motivators or sometimes when I'm thinking about my life, I want such and such to see me be successful. Or I want to realize that um, in a way that such and such can see it. But when it comes down to it, what does that do for me? I think by the time I actually get there, I won't care at all. I won't care what my ex-boyfriend thinks. I won't care that he could see me and realize that he made a bad choice. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't care now, but I think in the past that motivated me. Um, and I think all of that is a sign of self-worth or lack of self-worth. Like I'm not doing it for me. I mean, it's not enough just to do it because I want to do it. But I think even more than the, the lack of self-worth, I think it's that our society gives us the impression that it's not okay to be self-interested in this way. Um, but I think it is. I just, if I didn't have a vision for myself and I was slugging out in a job I hated, yeah, I would be doing that for somebody else. But in terms of something that I feel is changing my life, I don't feel like it's bad for me to want that for me, is what I'm trying to say. I'm sure there is probably a, a better, more succinct way to say it, but it just, when the spirit moves, you gotta say something. I just want women to feel like they have their permission. I want you to feel like you have the permission to pursue more just because that is what you feel is right for you. And you're not necessarily thinking about how it benefits everyone else. Um, you should definitely think about how it hurts everyone else, but um, some things are big enough to do it because you want to do it. And I think that pursuing your life's work, pursuing entrepreneurship, for instance, is worth it. But I guess I'm also saying it in the sense of it being tied to your life's work. Um, I watched Lula Rich recently. It's a documentary about the LuLaRoe uh, business and how these women were coached to put their families like kind of on the back burner to build these businesses and 
post, post, post. Don't talk about anything negative. Spin, spin, spin. And I don't agree with that because what does what does that stuff really get you? It's building a business, but you know, at some point the business is built. What what is it doing for you, your soul, yourself, your being, your impact on the world? I think that's where the line is. Every action towards your goal isn't necessarily in support of your goal, even though it might be wrapped up in it. And I think that's where you have to use discretion. But the goal itself is not, does not need to have conditions. You can just have the goal of living the life that you want, being the person that you want, having experiences you want, because that's what you want. It doesn't have to be for your kids. It can just be for you. Let me finish my makeup real quick. This is a this is an easy look because you know well you don't know, but I just like to do a little bit of something so it looks effortless. It's like you got your hair done and you got a little bit of makeup on, but not a lot of makeup on. It looks like you're just you know like just gorgeous. Like that's just how you live your life. So that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm going for. And I'm doing okay on time. <sighs> Put on a little lip balm. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video too. Um, if you're watching me on Facebook, please make sure you're following me on Facebook. And like, please leave a comment. Y'all don't be engaging with me. Engage with me. Tell me what are you doing it for? I know you might, it's not bad to have your family to uh, motivate you, but are you doing it for you too? Is, have you thought about what you actually want or is it just about what's best for your family? Because I think that you being your best is what's best for your family. Okay, I'll see my hair done, y'all. Have a good day.